Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes to start the prayers, but I just wanted to let you know I'm at home. You're going to be hearing some uh, background noise today because my son's watching Tom and Jerry. Um, I'm working completely from home for the most part, with the exception of picking up things and dropping things off in Sunday worship. So we're going to have to put up with my little toddler around because I don't have childcare here and I'm a single mom. And so he'll be part of this occasionally. Owen, please get down. And if by some reason we get cut off, it's because he's unplugged the whole computer. Owen, get down. Come here, Bubba. Come see. Okay, our service begins. Our service be Oh, this is going to be difficult, I know. I'll be able to... Is just a coping thing. Oh, and I need you to get off of there, please. Okay. Oh, okay, we're almost ready to start. We got two minutes. And then we can get started. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I think I've just made a mess. All right, we can get started in just a minute. Oh. Let's bask in God's presence. Owen, oh, please stop jumping. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. On this. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. Come here, Owen to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and for our, for our life and our salvation, and so that we may prepare for ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts Confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness and is by his infinite goodness and mercy. Okay. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us and forgive us all our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. 
Come, let us adore him. Let us recite the Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In the, his hands are the caverns of the earth and in the heights are hill and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he has made it and his hands have dry, have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down. And bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to hear his voice. This is nearly impossible. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Our service can continues on. I did get the song page. That's the song. Page 647 with the Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled worker, a skilled writer. You are the fairest people. Grace flows from their lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness and a scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. <laughs> All your garments are fragrant with mirth, aloes and cassia, and the music of strings from ivory places, making you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of our court. On your right hand is the queen adorned with the gold of Ophrah. Hero daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is, it is. He is your master. Therefore, do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess uh, as she enters. Her gown is a cloth of gold in embroidered apparel. She is brought to the king after the bridesmaids follow in procession with joy and gladness. They are brought and enter into the place of the king in the place of fathers. O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Today's reading is from the Hebrew Scriptures, Isaiah, here above 7, 10 to 14. Again, the Lord spoke to Azah, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as a as shoal or as high as heaven. But Asha said, I will not ask and I will not put the Lord to the test. 
Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, it is too little for you to you to weary mortals that you were weary my God also. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a son. Look, the young woman is with child, and she will bear a son, and he she shall name him Emmanuel. Today's canticle will be um, the Magnificent, and since I want you to say it along with me, let us, it's on page 91. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly spirit, servant. Oh, and come on, say this with mommy. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. It's going to break. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his mercy. I know you broke it. Is it your problem? You can play with it after I'm done. And remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and the children forever. Come pray with mommy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is and will be forever. Amen. Um, the gospel today is Luke chapter 1, 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Jesus, the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. Come say hello to everybody. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by the words and pondered what sort of greetings that this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will call the son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. I have no wise wisdom today, unfortunately, other than to say it is nice that God has come into this world to be with us, and we must always remember his presence. And there is nothing impossible with God, except for toddlers. And I couldn't imagine Jesus as a toddler. Do you want to come pray with mommy online? We're going on to the next part. Go get, go get a towel and clean it up. No. Okay. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
come men to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor to be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us into the safety of this news today. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity in all that we do. Direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Holy God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, and give humble thanks for all the goodness and loving kindness to us and to whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation of preservation of all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace, for, for the hope of glory, and we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly and thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, one honor, the honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Oh, holy and gracious God, we pray for those who you love. We pray you're going to get hurt. We pray for all of us who are working from home and all our daily struggles with our co-workers. And we pray that you would continue to bless us with patience and peace. It's not going to be an easy time for us. And we pray that you would continue to guide us and find ways for us to worship together, even in all adversity. And we pray for those who are still struggling with this virus, with for Brooks and for his wife and the families of that church and everybody else around us that we know and care for. Keep us safe and guide us in ways of righteousness. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common and supplicate our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three gather together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age of, to come of life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, thank you for being here and putting up with this little one. He was great right before I pressed start. And then as soon as I pressed start, he went crazy. I will work on this in the future and we will figure something out. I won't be offended if you have to find somewhere else to get your morning start. But this is life working from home. For a single mama rector, I'm thankful for all of you who pray with me today. I'll see you soon. Bye.
Oh, I forgot to bless you. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always this day and forever. I'll see you soon. Oh.